door stops, but it doesn't reopen. <laughs> <laughs> Jack9547 is moving his account to a new account. Oh, really? Really? The new account name has got to be one of the coolest ones in the elevator community. The new channel is called The Elevator Channel. Now tell me if that is not a cool name. Hey, Diesel Ducey. Andrew, you're on speaker now. Hi, everybody. Joe's standing up there. He's in Drop a Giant Rock on that DVD right there. <laughs> it's demolished. No more DVD. Aww. Oh. the elevator channel here, and this is my new Sony Cybershot DSC H20 camera. I'd like to announce that I'm making a new YouTube video series. It's going to be called Extreme Home Makeover. Kitchen Edition. Uh, this is my 80s style kitchen. It does not work very well. This peninsula is going to be gone. And somewhere right around this area here, we're going to be putting in a little island, basically. We have officially entered a whole new level of destruction in our kitchen. So I'm going to have to go around outside. And here we are. from the back. You can see that wall in the middle there is completely gone now. You can see all the way through, along with the wall next to the door and the whole pantry over there. All gone. You can see up there, there's the upstairs. And there's our roof coming down. There's an air duct there. There's all the new wires and things that are going to run up there. This wall is going to be knocked out uh, next week. Now, anyway, what I want to show you today is down here in the basement. Look at that. This is our temporary kitchen built out of parts from our kitchen upstairs. You can see what we have. We have a little island 
kind of. It's basically a small section of the counter we took from upstairs and we put there. And then the whole peninsula part of the kitchen all is uh, it's all usable countertop space. Everything you see here is fully working. The stove, the sink, microwave, dishwasher even, which is a really nice touch, everything. I mean, you can see there's some things that weren't quite put together right, but overall it's so easily workable. It's very, very nice. Much better than anything we were expecting to get out of a uh, temporary kitchen. A lot of this is going to be left down here when uh, the renovation's done, although a pretty good amount of these appliances are being donated. Hello everyone. It's been a long and difficult renovation, but my kitchen is finally to the point where I consider it to be done. There's only a few minor tasks left to be done before the entire thing is finished up, which involve fixing a exhaust fan vent and uh, replacing one pane of glass, but other than that, the entire kitchen is done. So today, I present you with the final segment of my kitchen renovation series. What I'm going to do, I will show you the original scope of work from when I began this and show the finished results afterward. I hope you enjoy.
the annoying elevator at the Lodge of Four Seasons East Tower. <laughs> Still a hazard. Kind of a very 60s type of cab. Walking up the stairs with a bird. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't know. Uh -oh. oh, look! <gasps> what do you kind think? Of Nervous. Just a little. See? A little bit. Uh oh. 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 Now what you're probably thinking is, oh, that's an easy answer. It's a video that YouTuber Diesel Deuce took back in Atlanta in 1993. Well, the phrase, as we know it today, can be defined a few different ways. Now what I'm thinking is, the elevator community as we know it today is a way that we all come together and share our videos on YouTube. And obviously this video is a recent addition to YouTube. In fact, it wasn't even uploaded until this year. So what was the first elevator video on YouTube? It's surprisingly not very well known. Welcome to the world of early 2000s digital video equipment. This is the first elevator video ever uploaded to YouTube. It was once again uploaded by YouTuber Diesel, you see. This is actually the office building at the Westport Plaza in St. Louis, Missouri. And this is the scenic elevator on the outside of the building that goes up to the restaurants on top. I finally stopped by and retook YouTube's first elevator video. Here it is. Guess what, everyone? Today we are riding the first elevator ever uploaded to YouTube by none other than YouTuber Diesel Ducey. Let's take a ride. Look at that view. There's a view down. All right, today we're doing a YouTube first. Andrew, do you want to say hi? Hi, everybody. Hold on, let me do this. Hi. <laughs> this
This is going to be me, our the first ever FaceTime elevator video on YouTube. So here we go. This is the elevator at the um, Embassy Suites Hotel in Austin, Texas. The Congress Road location. And guess what? It's a Dover. And here it is. Nearly lost the Wi Fi there. Still working? Yep, it's still working. Here we are at eight. And now we'll go back down to the main lobby. Is the top floor locked off? Yes, it's Cassier's kind of floor. Hello, everybody. This morning I'd just like to offer you all a big thank you. A very big thank you. Because, as of last night, you all allowed me to reach a goal that I have been trying to achieve for about two and a half years. Because last night at around six, I found out that I am a YouTube partner. Two and a half years in the making. So again, thank you very much. Hello everybody. I was trying to think of what to do for a Christmas video this year. And I've been thinking for a while and I decided to show you a very well decorated house in this development here. This is really something else. Let's just stop here for a moment and appreciate this. It's a peaceful, snowy evening in mid-Missouri. A train is coming from the distance. What a better way to spend a night like this than sledding like an idiot in a tube down a really big hill. All right, now he's at the top of the hill. He's gonna try to break through these uh, Okay, apparently it's ornamental corn. <laughs> this is gonna be breaking through the ornamental corn trial three. It's a closer look at our progress from last time. Oops, dropped my two. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> a little closer every time. All right, we have a new strategy for breaking through the ornamental corn. This lovely orange piece of All right. Oh, I can't even barely even fit back here. Nope. We'll live. As long as we don't die, we'll live. Well said. <laughs> All right. This isn't really working. Momentum. We're not getting much momentum. Now well, we're sort of moving. Sounds you have to cut a path. Okay, why well, I'm not even gonna put this part in. Let's oh maybe I will. No black that we haven't even hit a hill yet. Oh shh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh we missed it. We missed it. Okay, this is a sled that doesn't really work too well, so. So you do to manufacturing error design, they put Skids on the bottom of it. And it doesn't and, slide. Making it highly ineffective. So, maybe day frozen old snow ice will make this thing move. If okay, not, let's... I'm going to have to abandon the runway or get run over. Not working too well. Tell you what, we'll see if we can catch up to him. Take it by surprise here. Oh, he's still going. We'll catch up. Okay. Ready or not, here I come. Oh. 
We actually collided. Oh no, there's a tree. Ugh. 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 Ow. Ow. Oh, that's it for this. Oh, how that hurt. It's camping night in the woods of Missouri. This is setting up the camp, and that is building a fire. Here. <laughs> well, they're attempting to set up my new tent. Hello there, YouTube world. All right. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. The elevator <laughs> channel. Uh -oh. I don't want them to go on the fire. Maybe not. We need to go to the first one. Might help. Fine. See, it's being it's been nurtured from a tiny infantile fire well to a slightly juvenile fire that is a well-built fire that is a well-built tent I'm Benjamin a well-built man I'm out stronger well-built butter and now it's time for cooking at the campfire with your host Ben yes well anyway today we are cooking <laughs> Pan fried chicken. We're gonna take this chicken, Hang on. which is slightly good for beef oil, and put it in a pan with a stick of butter. Not a whole stick of butter. Okay. <laughs> Who shows this? Is it cooking with them and this red out? Well, how are we going to cook breakfast with no butter? <laughs> okay, well, you told me to fry the bacon in something other than water. Okay, so fine. I brought butter. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll I'll give you a tablespoon of butter. I said two tablespoons of butter. Okay, fine. That'll work. Just my catchphrase. Shabam. Aha. The hell's cooking with Ben going? Well, Jack, we've got some decent chicken strips here. Pan fried and butter, salt, other ingredients like tetanus, and dirt. All in all, I think we have a two star meal here. Look, look, it's look, He Man that ah. I can't see. Hold on, let me get my flashlight narrowed. I think I found something. No pieces. What? A giant piece. Wow. That is a really big piece of wood. Look at that smoke. This is a fun camping activity. Ah! Epic water jug. I love the steering column on this thing. Camping chip. This is a luxury. All right, the bags are all packed. And we're ready to go. We are going to start our trip to St. Louis. Let's go. checked in and the elevator channel should be here momentarily this place is empty but it looks like a nice hotel we have now ended the trip here at the Econo Lodge this is the end of the trip from Roanoke to Jeff City and look who's gonna say bye bye okay I'm here at the Econo Lodge Jefferson City with none other than Diesel Ducey. and we're gonna do a cleanliness test with the uh, Straub light manual preheat fluorescent 
uh, stain detector light. Here we go, I'm gonna start it up. Remember how it started, hold it down. All right, I'll kill the light. Hit the light, hit the light. Up, 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 We found a stain on the bedspread so far. Oh, there's one. Here. Another one. stain. Let's look in the bathroom. This is where you're gonna usually find stuff disgusting. Towels. These are kind of dirty. All right, let's look down here and see if this has been cleaned. Uh, uh, look at that. What do you oh. see? That is none other than urine, right? Yep. <laughs> the floor. Uh, look, look, look behind. Oh, jeez. I can't even see it again. Yeah. Look that a little farther in. <laughs> yeah. Look, look at that. You know what that is, don't you? I don't even think I want to know. Just piss. Ah. The toilet has been oh. <laughs> happily. Let's look at the seat. Let's see if there's piss on the seat. We're none other than. You just made the worst seat. decision of your life. <laughs> to I test drive my car. I hope you got good insurance. What is this I'm driving? This is a 2000 Toyota Avalon XLS. Wow, and I feel special. Oh, everything will light up here in a second. Ooh, scrape. I love that. The steering is nice. Nice and sensitive. Oh, parking brake. Parking oh. brake. Where is it? Uh, down, it would, it's something you hit with your foot, down to the left. Uh, yes, Diesel, Diesel Ducey is not, does not know how to, he's going to have to use the mag light. <laughs> it, it's down there, see so you push it with your foot. Oh, that's like a Chrysler. There we go. I was like, that's gosh, this more, thing is sluggish. That's more like it. And here's the Jefferson City Econo Lodge. So and that's the outdoor pool. Up. <laughs> Enjoying the drive? Oh yeah, it's a nice car. Drives like a new car. You don't care if I open it up, do you? Just uh, go down the hill. Sure. Definitely a six cylinder. <laughs> I only got up to 32. Want to say anything? That was fun. <laughs> I like driving a car that actually, when you step on the go pedal, actually goes, it doesn't just sit there and think about it for a while, like all the cars I'm used to driving. Oh wow, do you see that? Look oh at the top. God, this is, Look at the top. 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 Look at the Hopefully we don't open up, but I pull it down there. Oh well, we'll get over it. Yeah, that's the way to think about it. It's gonna plop. It's a single speed motor. We're going to have a ride. Yeah. Listen. Listen to those relays. This thing does leave some leveling to be desired. What do you think about this one, Jacob? This is an awesome elevator. I can't believe I never noticed this. I, I love that lantern though. Yeah, Chris. Wow. And there it goes, and that's it. Don't let it slam. All right, now we're going to go up to four. Here's the third floor. Waiting for the thunder stop here. Let's watch it. Pretty smooth, actually. 
I'll let you get the outside door. Gently. This thing is amazing. Oh no, my battery's going dead. Seven passengers, 1,250 pounds. Do you mind if we start moving? My battery's going dead. All right, we will. Hot in the elevator. Let me get a look at the fixtures. Let's undo it. Let's go down to the basement. How do you know it's a basement? It says B. Oh, I can't even. Oh, wow, it is right. Take one more round trip on this. This thing is epic. Here at the basement, let me see what's down here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Now, this is a basement. I've got a little battery, too, so. It's an allied elevator. Sounds like a loud fan, too. That's the motor. Ah. This sucks. Really? Jet Plus? Jeez. Give me a... <laughs> Try to get assaulted by, or getting assaulted the by the door. The indicator's original, though. Oh, look at this cab. This is still pretty neat, even without the original buttons. Now, this... You told me I didn't need my elevator keys. Well, I was wrong. Looks like we got, like, a, the strongest fan. Seen. You can hear it in the microphone of the camera. It's a tiny cab, though. Oh, look, original call button with a green arrow. Press that. Oh, look at that. You press that, it lights this up. We're going to go up to the second floor and look at the call button up there the first. Door closed does not work. Now, let's see if we can hear the motor. No. Are we even moving? Yeah, we're moving. It's just. These older controllers are pretty nice. I didn't even feel it start. Here, one. Let me check out this. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. That one doesn't light anything up. Oh, wow. It's an allied elevator. I like the old car. That's a shame. Oh, wow. Nice door. Nice door over there. Look at this. It's got the original safety edge. Look, you can Covered see with more. rubber. Anyway, yeah, no electric guy. Let me in. Doesn't really work all that well, though, as I found out when Let's I first got two. in. This is an antique elevator at Memorial Student Union in Columbia, Memorial Missouri. Student Union. Ooh, this door looks like it's seen better days. Whole elevator looks like it's seen better days. Enter the elevator. It's Westinghouse. Hurry up and get in here. Slam the door. Oh, wow, scissor gate? I don't. Is that automatic? This is rough. All right, gonna send it down to the ground. We're gonna take a few rides on this. You don't have to open up the scissor gate. Here on the ground, go back up to two. Maybe you do have to open up the scissor game. I'm going to time out for a second. All right, go over there and try to press two. Try one. We got it on the locked floor. <laughs> well, you can lock. Oh, yeah, I see that. Watch it level. You've never done one of these, have you? It's oil. Open up a one. Open that door, and we're gonna stick our heads out and take a look. Look at the door track. Wow. Let me take a look out here. Neat. Let me let the door shut. I'm gonna, we're gonna go back in there. Mizzou. All right, guess we can still open the door now. Yay. Open the door. You get the door. Nice call button, by the way. Oh, where is it? Yeah. Well, this thing's stubborn. Okay. Now this this elevator would be a great one to pull an epic door close in. Close whenever you want. Alright, do you get to close the gate? Okay, it's a little bit flimsy, what do you say? Yeah, it's not in the best shape. I'll send it, let me see you push the button. Push the button. Send it up the one. This is the definition of epic. Oh great, the battery's dying. I open it actually I'll open it for you.
Are we getting ended here? Yep, we're getting out here. I'll let you close the door. Want to close itself, pretty much? No, you got to close the gate. Oh, yeah, true. In case anyone else wants to access it. Watch this. There it's not going to slam. That's what it is. Look at the old Westinghouse thingy. And what do you think about that elevator? That was awesome. That's it. This is going to be my first ever freight elevator. This is his first freight elevator. And here it is. Corian doors. Elevator 38. Takes a while to level. You know what this is? What? They get to come in. Alright, since that's your first one, close the door. Close the door first. Okay, wait, DR, oh, there. Door closed. Alright, now stand back and watch it. That's annoying. It's a pretty nice elevator. Actually, it is in great condition, really. This is actually a Kone elevator. Look, Kone freight elevator. Kone. Actually, I've never seen a Kone freight before. Now, it's elevator number 38. C1. Alright, now send her up to one. Okay, what are we going to open up on? We'll find out. Beautiful motor, Walmart smiling. Awesome, what's that motor? It takes a second to open. Alright, now I'm going to press the door and close this time. Okay, I'll stand back. None other than the loading guy. Alright. That's annoying. It is. I'll well, tell you what, we'll take this thing for another ride to see where it opens now. Oh. oh. <laughs> My hope. We press the Press the button. I want to hear that motor start up. not. It's probably a Dover and it's out of service. Now it's right in front of you and turned off. Yep, right in front of me and turned off. Unfortunately. Yeah, no, we're not going to ride it. It's got a key. Someone called. And guess what? We just lost it, so. outside of St. Louis, in the middle of the night. And what's this over here? We're on a playground in Daypair Park. This is where I grew up, okay? I grew up here in Daypair, Missouri. I'm gonna send Diesel Deucey down the slide and then I'm gonna go down behind it. Here he goes. Now here I come. Watch this. I haven't done this in a long time. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Ugh. I wonder what the weight limit on this thing is. <laughs> Watch me break this thing. Feel me going up this. <laughs> Whoa, this one's curvy. Here comes Diesel, Lucy. Bad angle. Here I go. Wee! Whoa! <laughs> that was fun. Okay, that's it. Bye! This is yet another elevator at the Lachateau Village in Frontenac, Missouri, which is a suburb of St. Louis. It's a long, older GAL fixtures. Is there any way you could give, give a quick... Let me see something here. Hold on. Can you give a quick tap on the alarm when the door closes so I know to call the elevator? Okay. Because that's one guy here the bell and I'll start my video. Okay. This is behind the scenes. Ah, drop ceiling, really. All right. Here we are in the Le Chateau Village. We Little just rode this really neat glass elevator. Over here is yet another elevator. Do I hear a video going on down there? Look Let's at this. Moves. This is nice. Now we're going to call the elevator. And here we go. Look at that arch door. It's like magic. And here it is. Oh my gosh, what's that? It's a nice elevator. You're not one of those elevator filmers, are you? No. All right, now we're going to go down to LL. No door closed when you push the button. This is a long elevator. I think we're completely burned out. No, I slid up a little bit. Oh, it is? All right, now send up. Interesting how the button doesn't go out until it stops moving. Hear those relays? Mm-hmm. Loud and clear. I wonder if we're going to have any numbers here. We'll find out in a second. There's one right there. You can barely see it. There. Now you can see. Had to block the light. And we do have classic leveling. All right, send it down to lower level again, and we'll get to you. I'm going to ride the eleva other elevator since I got some solo time in here already. I'll meet you down there. All right. This is interesting. What floor? Lower level. Where okay. I guess we'll get one more ride on the caged elevator. Very nice elevator. Look at these doors. Again, that indicator works, but you have to cover up that light because it's so bright. What's that speaker for? There's a power outlet on the top. Long fixtures, GAL. Now watch this. It's not going to go off until it gets done leveling. All right. Hopefully by this time I'll already We're have a video this one up. Now it's off. Because that was a really bad cab view. And... So on the way down, we'll go we'll through the unobstructed area up here. There it goes, and now watch this. What is this right here? What is that thing he's holding right there? This is the glass elevator. Uh, close, close, close. What are you trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> what did you just do to me? Nothing. Someone tried to shut the doors on me, so I guess I'll finish up the tour by riding up this one floor. And I'm going to get a solo take. You so know, I had to try to close the door on you at least once over this whole train. And you succeeded, too. You pushed my diesel doocy into my thigh.
anything. All right, this is going to be the Arch Parking Garage elevator. It seems like every single person that visits St. Louis has filmed these things over here. Yet, I live two hours away from St. Louis, and I've never even ridden them. Well, you're in for a treat, because guess what it is? PTL. Don't rent Impulse, modded by PTL. You want to push the button? Oh, first of all, I want to give you the historic Eads Bridge. Couldn't go without that. Wait, hold on. It's been a long time, so. It takes two people to push that button, it's so hard. Hey, look. Meet you at the bottom. All right, now we'll <laughs> go up together. All right, let's watch this really exciting floor indicator. I hear you. I hear you too. Is that an alarm or he make a stop? Oh, it's a floor passage. There's the alarm. I knew that was coming. Let's go up together. Which one do you want to go up in? Actually, why don't we race? Let's go in. Okay, let's do a race. Here we go. Open oh, Might have gotten a head start. He has an extra bell to me. Come on. Oh my gosh, you won. Now let's go down together. I want to go down on this one. <laughs> this one has a really bad bell. Was someone laughing at us? Yeah. Why, did they see what we were doing? Yeah. <laughs> you won that time, I won the first time. Hear how bad that bell is compared to yours? I could hear yours in the other shaft. There I it hear is. it too. Well, they both came down. Now watch them both close up. You got the fish eye, so you got a better angle. There goes that one. There goes that one. There's a closet front neck. If you hold that camera, I'll open it. Bring it. Get back in here. I'm Jeremy This is an Otis Lexan freight elevator. Look at this. Lights and fixtures, four minutes of memory, so I'm going to make this quick. Start off by going to ground. Sorry about the shakes. This is the parking garage level. Now we'll go up to two. See, I got the shades here. I hate this. Beautiful motor. I like this elevator, don't you? Mm -hmm. The cool thing is, we can watch the button go out. I think this is the first Otis Lexan freight on YouTube. space between these floors. Yep. This is an all, remember. Let's watch the button go out. How about you sit down the ground? Do you like the fixtures on this thing? Yes, I do. How many passengers? I can't read it. All right. There's my rental car. Isn't it cute? Anyway, we are standing out in front of the America's Best Value Inn airport location. This used to be a day's inn. This building contains the office. We're going to take a ride on the elevator first. The elevator's been recently redone. The well, egg lanterns don't work. Put it up to three. This hotel has exterior corridors. Oh my gosh, somebody's in my room. First, once the camera decides to focus, there it goes. Pretty nice room. I slept here last night. I will say that that bed was very comfortable and I slept very well. Awesome. All right, now we're gonna check for cleanliness. 
your official cleanliness inspector. Fire it up. I got paper right now. There we go. All right. Here we go. Let's start up here on the wall. Start going down. Up. You see that? It's getting worse as we go down. Oh, man. Oh, what's that? Oh, it keeps getting worse. Look what? at all this. I wonder what it is. Oh, man, look at that at the bottom. Is that urine? Lots of it. It's even on the back wall there, too. Some, they need to put new wallpaper in. What do you think of this hotel? Not bad if you're on a budget. And I am definitely on a budget, so. <laughs> Guess Here. what? This is a really big snowball. We're gonna make it really big and then roll it down that hill. Our snowball is complete. <laughs> I'd estimate its height at somewhere around four, four and a half feet. And uh, its weight around two or three hundred pounds since it took us about <laughs> five or ten minutes to get it from there Back. to here. Let's do this. Hey, I don't have a wine bottle. Break it on like they do on a ship. Oh, well. Too bad. <laughs> well, that was very short lived. Is it not moving anymore? No, it stopped. Wow. Nice. Look at him struggle. <laughs> yeah, you, you try and move it. Well, I, I will say, that thing is heavy enough that it was shaking the ground up here when it was rolling. You can't roll it anymore? We gotta keep it moving, we gotta get to that next ledge. Here, I'll help. Apparently he doesn't want help. We are not What was that? That was part of the garden hose. Oh, oh, almost. Keep going, keep going. Are you kidding me? No <laughs> one. <laughs> You missed. <sighs> well, that's it. We're just going to smash a bunch of uh, random computer items I had in my room. Today, we're featuring a full desktop size hard drive. Well, framing. <laughs> oh, ah, that was my hand. <laughs> but all you did was put a dent in. Well, that was pretty awesome. We have an HTC Droid Air cell phone. <laughs> Kidding me? 
this thing really this slow? This is going to be a tour of my dorm room here in Grisadec Hall at SLU. Starting off here, looking at the front door. There's not much to this room and it's a little bit messy. So I'll go ahead and put my back against the door and uh, look out and this is the whole room. Right here next to the door we have a, uh, a sink. I've always thought the sink's a little bit uncomfortably low, I mean basically it comes up to like a little above my knee. We got a little 700 watt microwave, nice little mini fridge, not much in it at the moment, with a freezer compartment with a few ice trays in it. My roommate has to climb on his desk to get in, and I get to climb up this nice ladder that's full of a bunch of coats. And this room, if you haven't gotten the impression, is pretty tight. We've got dirty laundry against this wall back here, kind of skipped over the uh, TV. We do have HDTV in this room. I kind of found that a little bit surprising. Lots of posters up on the wall. <laughs> There's a bird's eye view of the place. I've got my <clears throat> alarm clock taped to this side of the bed so I can get to it from up here. And uh, I've also got a little fan taped in so I can get properly ventilated at night. So, that's about all for the room. It's never fun when this goes off. And I guess, uh, thank you for watching. Yeah.